This video explains the main sales processes on the POS. After you've set up your POS unit, you can create the first sales and returns. Please note that prerequisites for all sales cycle stages are to have at least one POS unit, to have created items that can be sold, to set up a retail voucher type with a POS payment method that is compatible with the item return, to sell items on the POS in the most straightforward way, that is, by selecting an item and proceeding to the payment view, do the following. Click Watches, and a new pop-up window is displayed. Click on Festina Stainless Steel Chrono Watch, and a new sales line is added. Click Go to Payment. The view is changed from Sale to Payment. Click Cash Payment, then OK, and the sale is complete. Another way to find items is to search by item number. Input the item number in the designated field, and you will be able to add it to your sales lines. You can also click the Search button and select one of the items from the list. You can also sell miscellaneous or MISC items. Such an item has a price that varies and can be set on the POS directly. If for any reason you want to remove an item from sales lines, you may do so by selecting it and clicking Delete Line. You can cancel the entire sale by clicking the Cancel Sale button. You will get a pop-up asking you to confirm that action. Clicking Yes will cancel the sale. If a customer wishes to return an item, you can do so by adding that item to sales lines and then clicking Return. State the item quantity and click OK. A pop-up window containing the unit price is displayed. Click OK and a new sales line with a negative quantity is added. Click Go to Payment and then Cash Payment. Click OK once more and the transaction will be complete. Another way to return items is by issuing a credit voucher. Repeat all the steps as when doing a cash return with the difference of selecting an issue credit voucher as your means of payment.